What's up guys, Private Jero up here. Welcome back to my channel. This video is for noobs. If you're new to rearm and you want to learn to build a base, this video is for you. So first things first, get some loot. Wherever, melee bases, houses, doesn't matter. Then go to these blue X's. These blue X's are the safe zone. They're all over the map. So just pick one, go to it. It's a teleporting safe zone. So once you get into it, then it'll teleport you to the safe zone. It looks like this. There's green smoke at the entrance. Boom. Teleports you right to the safe zone. So once you're in the safe zone, just go down the staircase and you will find the vending machines where you can sell your items that you have looted and buy different items, like your base building stuff. So this is just some of the junk that I've collected around the map and I'm bringing it here to sell. Doesn't matter what you find, it's all worth something. You'll figure it out. Alright, so I got 23,747. And so what you're going to need in order to build a base is a hatchet, handsaw, sharpening stone, maybe two, a code lock, you're going to need a building blueprint, but if you have like a box of nails or a box of ammo, it's going to drop a piece of paper. And if you hold that piece of paper in your hand, you can make a blueprint by holding left click on the mouse. So here I have a piece of paper I, I got from opening a box of nails. You hold left click, turn it into a blueprint. But I'll just buy one here. Also, you will need a Territory HQ, which costs 2000 So a Territory HQ kit is Rearm's version of a flagpole kit. Or you can buy a rope, which costs $500, so you'll save $1,500. And you combine that rope with a stick, three sticks. And that will, once you combine it, that'll make a Territory HQ kit. So here's the rope. And bushes like these are the best, the best to get a stick. Let's find a little yellow bush. It's gonna give you a long stick. You hold left click. You're gonna rip this stick in half. It'll give you a short stick. Three short sticks. And you combine with the rope. Just drag the rope over to the stick. And there you go. Territory HQ kit. And that's all you need to build your base. Besides nails, you'll need to find nails because you can't buy them at Safe Zone or Black Market. But you can buy them off another player if you want. Um, that's going to keep your base from decaying if you put it on the HQ. Okay, so all that stuff combined cost about 16000 Now, you can find all this stuff on the map in sheds, in warehouses even sometimes on zombies, but it's easier just to loot, sell it at the safe zone, and buy it. And so I always recommend hiding your bag with your base building stuff and your nails in a tree while you go chop wood in case you die while chopping wood. Let's find this tree. Drop that bag. And let's take our hatchet. Don't forget to mark your tree. You press map. Scroll your body. And there you go. You don't lose your bag. Then it's time to chop some trees. Now you gotta be careful. Little trees like this See, it says gather firewood. Gather firewood. You don't want to gather any firewood. You want it to say gather wooden log. Now, little trees like that give you one log. I want even this big tree, see? Just gather firewood. Gotta be careful with that. 
Now, I know big pine trees, the green ones like those, usually have a lot of logs. Now you can hold right click and hover over your items to pick them up. And then you just gotta find your building. Alright, I found the building I want to build in. I recommend, first things first, you put the Territory HQ kit in your hand to see if you're even allowed to build. Down here, it's in the left corner, it says, Choose Placement. Now, that means you're allowed to build here. If it says, you, this is a no build zone, you cannot build here, then that means you're too close to another base, or... You're too close to like a military. I recommend setting that down first just to make sure you can even build in that location. I'm putting the saw in my hand. I'm going to saw some of these logs. Craft wooden plank. <coughs> Each log makes four planks. Now you put the blueprint in your hand. All right, make sure you have the logs and the planks in your backpack while you're building. Put that blueprint in your hand. Hover over the item you want to build. So we're going to do the foundation, either a square foundation or a triangle foundation. The scroll wheel will let you rotate the foundation. And then you left click to place it. All right, so now it's time to place the door. You have two options. You can place a double door or a single door. Now, if it's not perfectly aligned, I recommend doing a double door, but since this one's pretty well aligned, a single door should do. Okay, so when you're ready, it's left click to place the door, and then you're going to need the hatchet in your hands to build it with the planks in your backpack. Okay, so each frame cost one log each. So foundation costs one log, wall cost, or door cost one log. Now, to build the wall, like I'm doing right now, costs planks. It was eight planks for the wall itself and four planks for the door. So 12 planks to make this door work. So that door works perfectly. And now you just gotta put a code lock on, choose a code, don't forget your code, enter that in. And boom, all done. You got a you got a secure base pretty much. Now you can dis dismantle this uh, foundation frame if you want. I do, just because it saves a little bit of nail upkeep cost. So this is the territory HQ where you have to put your nails to keep your base from decaying. If you ever run out of nails, your base will decay after a few hours and then it'll make your walls and stuff start disappearing. Um, so every wall and floor and foundation and roof you build, all this stuff you build is going to cost more nails to keep um, from decaying. So if that makes sense. So say you put 70 nails on and you only had one wall built. It may last for two weeks before it decays, but if you have 50 different walls and stuff and you put 70 nails on, it may only last 10 hours or five hours. So keep that in mind. The bigger base you build, the more expensive it's going to cost with the nail upkeep. That means you're going to have to have more nails. So again, I'm putting another foundation. And the purpose of putting this foundation is here in here is to cover the windows. So you got to put a foundation and then you can place the wall. Okay, so I just sawed up some planks from the logs and now I'm building the wall to cover my windows. Boom. So now if you see, you can see the frame when you're inside of a base. But if you flip it, you can press rotate to flip it to the outside. So if you built it backwards, you can left click and, and click rotate. But always make sure you have the frame on the inside. Because if you don't, that means somebody 
can dismantle your base from the outside and you don't want that because then they can just dismantle you which is called soft siding and then get in your base so always make sure the frame is towards the inside of your base and the solid wall is on the outside okay so I chopped a lot of trees I got seven logs 52 planks I'll show you how to build an airlock so same thing you want to come outside have the blueprint in your hand you want to do a foundation I'm gonna do a square foundation boom left click then you find a wall boom boom and then you would do a door for one of them and then you do floor for the roof the hatch in your hand and you just upgrade them you don't have to do foundation if you don't want it by that I mean this like you can uh, you can dismantle the foundation frame if you like that just saves you it just saves you nails for the upkeep if you want you can leave it and you can build it doesn't cost that much more up to you It cost me five logs, yep, it cost me five logs to build all the frames. <clears throat> Boom. And there you go. And if you want to put your code lock on that door instead, until you get a new one, just hold F. Type your password. Remove lock. There you go. Now you can put the code lock on the outer wall if you don't have another one. There we go. And now you have another door. And this is a two door base. It's pretty secure. Super easy. And I have 52 planks. And now I only have 16 planks. So each log is four planks. You can do the math. How much it cost me to build the airlock. Now make sure you get the nails eventually. It won't decay for a little while. You have a couple hours. But get the nails on here as soon as you can. And that'll keep it from decaying. Now you can buy nails from people at the safe zone too. Definitely a barter item. Let's see. I'll see. G-I-U-Y. G-I-Y-U. Got you. He's selling nails for 25k at safe zone. You can always do that. So it's just that easy to build a base. Other than that, you get your storage at the safe zone. You get to looting and having some fun. If you guys have any questions or anything, feel free to comment. I'll definitely try to help you out. Just gotta look for nails in these kind of buildings, little sheds. They could even be in houses. Check, check clothes pockets. Stuff like that. Loot around, you'll find them. And then uh, I'll show you real quick. I'll show you my base. This is my base. Put protective things around my windows. And my main entrances. You'll learn about that as you play more. Here's my garage. And these are compound walls. So, you'll learn about that too. There is wall rating. So people can come in through the wall instead of the door. They have C4. So that's why I'm doing the little triangles. Oh, 
Yep, and these are sheet metal level 2 doors. Once you find sheet metal, put that in your backpack and you walk up to the door and you can build a level 2 door. And then one more thing is sleeping bags. Sleeping bags. Place to claim a respawn when dead. So you hold right, right click, or you just, I guess, use placement, left click. I already have a sleeping bag. So when I die, pick you up here where my sleeping bag is. When I die, I can respawn here. And here's my base nail thing. I have 72 nails and I have 20 hours left before my base will start decaying. Now, where you find sleeping bags mainly is going to be this kind of place. Hard to see. But they're brown and they have this little feather icon and they're brown. Like hunting villages. That means this spot. Now, we have one right here, Proud Trenoris. Brown. has the little thing. Now, these are all over the map. Just scroll in. You'll find it. Alright, best of luck.